What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. Happy Halloween. Today we're discussing about the iOS 10.1.1 that was dropped by Apple this morning. So this update is available for every device that's running iOS 10.x, no matter what version of 10.x. And so it gives some updates, some bug fixes on the portrait camera mode for the iPhone 7 Plus, which is in beta, transit direction for Japan and stability improvement and bug fixes. But the iOS 10.1.1 itself addresses an important bug on the health application because some users weren't able to access their data or to retrieve it from the server while using the health application included into the um, into the iOS. So this is the most important thing into this new uh, release. Now let's talk about uh, the um, the exploits and the patches. Well. Apparently, this is a very good update for the um, from the jailbreaking standpoint because iOS 10.1.1 shares the same uh, security content as the iOS 10.1, as you can see from here, which means that there are no additional patches or uh, bug fixes in the security domain that can jeopardize the um, the jailbreaking process. Which means that Pangu doesn't have to. Uh, recap their jailbreaking um, exploits or other things because iOS 10.1.1 doesn't change anything on that scene. So, how you know about Pango? Well, we didn't uh, we didn't get any word yet from Pango. This is kind of strange, and um, yeah, Pango usually uh, doesn't give any ATAs, and of course, this time isn't uh, something different. But probably we need to stay updated by going to the web page to the uh, english.pango.io because they change the uh, download buttons and the page as they release without further notification. Probably they will also post on Twitter. But for the moment we have no word from them. And even though we know they managed to jailbreak iOS 10, we know that that... Um, that exploit that was used during the mosaic i'm going to show you right here you probably remember back in um, july or in june uh the exploit that they used when they demoed during the mosaic conference the uh, ios 10 jailbreak was actually patched in ios uh, 9.3.4 which means that they can no longer use the exploit they've been using during this presentation for the first beta of ios 10 this is um, this is sad, but I don't think that they're only uh, sticking with one exploit. So this means that they're probably uh, working on another jailbreak right now with different exploits, of course. But for the moment, we got no word from them. Also, I want to talk with you about the uh, senator status. How you know? how you can get uh, the uh, the latest signed firmware. Well, I created an application or a web app, if you want, called FC365 uh, Signature Status that you can open and it actually gives you all the uh, security content and all the um, signature statuses for various devices. And here you can see you've got a notification that if you click, it says that iOS 10.0.2, iOS 10.0.3 and iOS 10.0.1 were dropped and are no longer signed device-wide. iOS 9.3.5 is still signed only for iPhone 4S. This is particularly important if you want to download your IPSW. But you can navigate here. On the computer it of course looks better, but on the mobile you can uh, go to your specific device, for example iPhone 7 Plus here, and download the IPSW for the corresponding um, iOS version. So keep in mind, only the signed firmwares can be uh, downgraded, and you can no longer downgrade to iOS 10.0.2 because it no longer gets signed. So if you're now on uh, iOS 10.1, uh, 10.0.2, 10.0.1, uh, beta and so on, stay on the version you are, do not update because you might not be able to jailbreak. We don't know what are Pangu's intentions for jailbreaking, so we don't know if they're going to jailbreak the latest version of iOS 10.1, which is 10.1.1, or if they're going to use 10.0.2 or 10.0.1. So you better stick with the oldest firmware you can, do not update. Well, speaking about update, we didn't get any updates from Taiji as well. Although they said on their Twitter that they're still interested in the uh, jailbreaking, 
we still have no word about their uh, jailbreak intentions or any releases and the la latest firmware they've been jailbreaking was iOS 8.4 then they passed the flag to Pangu well in order to stay updated you should go ahead on our playlist co called iOS hashtag jailbreak updates and here you can get the latest content and the latest releases so that you know where to update when to update and why you should update or stay to the same version when a jailbreak drops this is it guys, I really hope this helped and if you want to update of course to the, uh, the latest version and you, you're not interested in jailbreaking, you can go ahead and press the download and install button. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, till the next time check out the playlist right in the card up here or in the description and peace out.